Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 147, and today we will have our third lesson, third video in the series of four on the topic of radicals, figuring out the square roots of quantities. So let's let's get going. The very first one we have is square root of 0 0.0081. 0 0.0081. What do we do with it? Well, our job, our job is somehow to get this 0 0.0081 and to transform this into a full a, a whole number as quickly as possible. Because we know square root of 81. Square root of 81 we can figure out very easily. Square root of 81 is 9. Question is how do we change points? How do we convert 0 0.0081 into 81? Well, that's very very that's very simple. We take our point zero zero eight one, and if you were to multiply it by ten, if you were to multiply it by ten, the decimal will move from here to here. If you multiply it by hundred, it will move to the second place. If you multiply it by thousand, it will move it to the third place. And if you multiply it by ten thousand, if you multiply it by ten thousand, a thousand and ten thousand, one two three four, you will move it move the decimal four places. One two three and four decimal will end up here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to multiply by 10 raised to 10 raised to 4. But the problem is that we cannot simply multiply this quantity by 10 raised to 4 and leave it like that because then it's no longer what is given to us. We cannot change the quantity that is given to us. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this quantity and multiply the top and the bottom by 10 raised to 4 and extend the square root sign. And by doing so, 0 0.0081 10 raised to 4 over 10 raised to 4, we take a square root of it, and this quantity now, as we know, as we just discussed, 0 0.0081 will become, the decimal will move 4 places, 1, 2, 3, 4, it will end up here. On the top, we end up with 81, decimal ends up here. And on the bottom, we have 10 raised to 4. That's it, we are done, we are home free. The rest is very simple. The rest is very, the rest is very simple, very straightforward. The square root of 81 is 9. And the square root of 10 raised to 4 is 10 raised to 2. There you go, there is our answer. Final answer is 9 over 100. The final answer to the problem is 9 over 100. Oh, plastic. I forgot to give you the I forgot to give you the answer choices in the beginning. It's too late now. It's too late now. But in case you're curious as to how the answer choices will be, will be laid out in the exam, they were like this. 0 0.003. 0 0.009, 0 0.03, 0 0.09, and finally 0.9. And ours was 0 0.09. Because we got 9 raised to 10, which is 0 0.09. Answer choice, answer choice D was the right answer. In the next problem that I'm about to put on the blackboard, I will not forget to give you the answer choices. Once I put it on the blackboard, pause the video and do it yourself, okay? So here's the next one. Let's say we are done with this one, we, we move on. So here are the answer choices first before I forget them. 0 0.003, 0 0.00. Oh, it's the same answer choices as before. I lost it. I, I erased it for no good reason. 9, 0 0.03, 0 0.09, and 0.9. It's the same answer choices as before. I erased the previous one for no good reason. Here's the problem. We are, we are supposed to we're supposed to find out the cube root of 0 0.0000 to 7. Pause the video and do it yourself. Pause the video, I insist, and do it yourself. Once you have the answer, then we'll compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Well, same exact thing as before. Somehow we had to get this into 27. We had to we, because we know we know cube root of 27. You can figure out the cube root of 27 is very. We can figure out the cube root of 27 very easily. It's three times three times three. So the cube root of 27 is just three. Question is, how do we convert this into 27? Well, we need to <coughs> we need to count our decimal places. Well, how many places do we need to move it in order for it to be 27? We want the decimal place to end up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
we need to move it six places. We need to move it six places, which means if we were to take our quantity 0 0.000027 and multiply it by 10 raised to 6, that will become 27. This quantity here is 27. Since we are multiplying the top by 10 raised to 6, we have to multiply the bottom by 10 raised to 6. And now we take a square, now we take a cube root of it. So the, big, the top becomes 27, in the bottom we have 10 raised to 6, on the bottom we have 10 raised to 6, and we take a cube root of it. Cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of 10 raised to 6 is going to be 10 raised to 2. It's going to be 10 raised to 2 because 10 raised to 6, 10 raised to 6 is simply 10 squared to the third power. That's it. 3 over 100, 3 over 100 is 0 0.03. The answer is C. Let's do one more, shall we? Same, same exact idea will apply. Do it yourself, the next problem also. Here are the answer choices for the next problem. Point zero zero five, point zero two five, point zero five. Point two five and point five oh. These are the answer choices for the next problem, and the problem is here. We have to find the cube root of point zero 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 one two five. Do it yourself, same as before, same logic, same rationale, same method will apply, nothing has changed. Just follow the same steps. So one more time, somehow we have to get this point 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.000125 into a whole number, 125. In other words, in order for it to be 125, we want decimal to end up here. We need to move the decimal, to, we need to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spots. Same as before. Same as before. Nothing has changed. So we take our we take our quantity that is given to us, point zero 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 one two five and you multiply top and bottom by 10 raised to 6, when you multiply top and bottom by 10 raised to 6, the decimal moves up here, it becomes 125. On the top, it becomes 125, and the cube root of 125 is very simple. 125 is simply 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times is 125, which means cube root of 125 is 5. Cube root of 100, cube root of 125 is 5, and cube root of 10, 10 raised to 6 is 10 squared, which is same as 10 raised to 100, which is 0 0.05. Same as before. Now, here is some bad news. The bad news is that the problem that will appear in the exam, whether you're preparing for ACT, SAT, TES, GMAT, or GRE, the problem that you're most likely to see in the exam it's not going to be any one of those three that we just did. It's going to be a little bit more complicated. It's going to come in a little bit more. Uh, little, uh, it's, it's going to come in a little bit of a different form, which is the problem that I'm going to give you next. So here's the problem. Next problem. These were the baby version. We, we had to do the baby version first before before we can handle the real problem that that is likely to appear on the exam. So here's the real problem. We are being asked. We are being asked to figure out the cube root, the cube root of the square root of point zero 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 six four. We are being asked to figure out the, the cube root of the square root of the quantity zero 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 four. It has four zero 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 four. Point uh, zero 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 four six four. Take the square root of that quantity, and then once you have the answer, take the cube root of that. That is your homework. That is your homework for tomorrow. We'll do this problem to, to, together tomorrow in the next video on day number one hundred and forty-eight. But in the meantime, I want you to do this ahead of time so that so that uh, you have the answer there, so that you have your work in front of you. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now.